stuff, a uh, lot of stuff to break down. Basketball, uh, basketball. We've done the football thing uh, all week, uh, but uh, we got Mick Aussie. Uh, Mick Aussie's in Australia. I don't know. I don't, did you relocate there, Mick? How long's your vacation? Like, uh, do you, are you staying home? You went back to the homeland. Seems like you've been there like two months now, Mick. What's going on? Hey, guys. Yeah, South Australia. I'm at West Beach, and uh, yeah, Odell Beckham Jr. Hey? You okay, mate? He's left New York. Ha, 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 OBJ. Now you're going to Cleveland Browns. Shit him a pants. Small market. Love it. Can't stand him. At least he's got a decent quarterback, though. But, yeah, Adelaide had a great trip, mate. It's been fantastic. Been in the outback. Been cruising around. Lots of stories to tell you. NBA, everything, mate. The kids are loving the NBA down here, mate. They're loving it. They're all watching on Instagram. Sports is growing. U.S. sports is growing big in Australia with the kids, mate, and they're betting, mate. So that's good for you and I, right? All right, uh, Mick. But we're not. Uh, we didn't, we, you're not checking in from Australia to talk to me about Odell Beckham. <laughs> we, so what's what's going on in Australia, Mick? Have you, you got any games? You're going to AFL stuff. Uh, you, know, you, you get in trouble. You get into fights with kangaroos. I saw a kangaroo attack a paraglider the other day. I was I was almost hoping it was you, but. Uh, <laughs> Uh, so what's going on there? Mate, mate, it's crazy. Like, we drove uh, five hours north of Adelaide up to a place called Wilpina Pound, and there's a massive drought. Like, for two and a half years, it hasn't rained. So there's literally, and I need to tell the truth about kangaroos, there's literally tens of thousands of kangaroos dying because there's no food, there's no water. They're so skinny, they've got nothing to eat. And this lady was telling us she drives 50 k's a night. She literally hits 50. She's hit like 50 kangaroos, and they come out on the road, and there's skin and bones. So crazy drought in the north of South Australia and in New South Wales. The farmers are shooting their cattle. They're shooting their their, their sheep because there's no feed, mate. So yes, it's, it's really sad, but we had a great drive five hours north of Adelaide. It's a real picker up around. And, <laughs> Right? Why are you telling us this? <laughs> because what do you want to know? You didn't want to talk about NFL. Talk no, NFL. Why are you what telling are you us about, about kangaroos NFL? getting run over by cars? You got kangaroos in well, like, this. It's a fun call. Think, yes, you got feast and famine everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Big so. It's true, mate. You'll think that you'll think that they're these beautiful little animals, but they're dying, mate. There's tens of thousands of kangaroos dying because the greenies don't want the farmers to shoot them, and they're, they're ripe up there, mate. It's really sad. But yes, AFL starting. I've got picks for you, everything. What do you want to talk about? All right, I want so some get, more get Australian pitch, football man. picks. That's why you guys keep talking about Australian football, and I haven't gotten a damn pick yet. Is the season on there, Mick, or what? Feels like I'm on the phone with Bob here. Hey. Like, yeah, Mick. Get, get, Mick, give us a pitch here. we got to pick up the pace here, Mick. Give, give us some winners. What do you got for that, us? Joe, start next Thursday night. It's Richmond Tigers, one of the top teams. They play Carlton Blues. They're favored by 36 and a half. Take Tigers to win and probably cover. Because, Gabe, there's a new rule where the games are going to be higher scoring and free of flowing. So take the Tigers to win and probably cover, and I might not be on until the next week, and then also take the Crows to win and cover against the Hawks. That's the Saturday game. Magpies probably win. Demons probably win. Because I'll be flying on the plane back to Canada next Friday, this time next week. So take the Tigers to win and cover, the Crows to win and cover. The other two games, not sure, mate. Okay. Have you gone to a game? Uh, that's the preseason right now. Have you gone to a game uh, since you've been there? Yes, mate. We went and saw the Port Adelaide Power, and apparently in Adelaide, I'm not allowed to say the Pats beers, but the Port Adelaide Power, we went and watched them play the North Melbourne Kangaroos, and the new rules where it's free of flowing, you're not allowed players in the square and so forth. So it's a lot. It's going to be high scoring this year, mate. I wore my crow's hat. All the Port Adelaide fans have given it, given it to me, but I loved it, mate. Stuff them, mate. Stuff the power. We don't like them down here. 
Power will be okay. They'll be okay. North Melbourne will be crap. But yeah, had some beers, watched the football. It was fantastic, mate. The girlfriend loved it. All right, Mitch. So before we let you go, Mitch, so what's what's the rule change? So it's going to be higher score. They change the rules in the AFL. They loosen it up a bit. Yeah, mate. They all they all start all these extra players in defense. You know, the fifty uh, meter circle. You have to have six players in that fifty meter circle. So there's four players in the center square. The two wingmen. So what? It's going to be back to like when I played, mate. The center players. So the teams good on bowlers and good forwards. So the good on bowlers are going to have time to run and kick forward to the to the full forward, the centre half forward. So I firmly believe the good teams will actually win win by more 